Hi, everyone. I was just showing off this uh, keyword idea tool and thought of a fun way to make money with it. So I wanted to show you how you could do that. Um, I'm going to do that by, let me share my screen with you guys. We're going to start by going to uh, keywords hitter because <laughs> that's the appropriate way to say it. Um, and we're going to come up with an idea uh, based on your niche. And so this is something you can do for yourself or something that you can sell. And the reason I say you can sell it is because people are looking for ideas all the time. So say that you want to sell a um, niche blog idea package. You can do that by using this free tool. Uh, so the start is, you know, coming up with a topic idea. Let's do something like um, slow cooker. And then you click hit keywords. And you get usually thousands of keyword ideas. And you can just sell these. Like you can stop here and say, I have... Uh, 1500 keyword ideas based around slow cooking. Okay, done. It took you two minutes. You just put it in a spreadsheet and deliver it. But if you want to go a little bit further and take it to the next level, after you have, uh, you run this a few times. So you're going to do like slow cooker, slow cooker recipes, slow cooker how to. You want to get, you know, solid, a lot, a lot of keywords if you're going to sell this. Uh, and so you just let this run and then you have a little spreadsheet right here that are going to be like slow cooker keyword ideas. Okay. And then you're going to name this. This is just, if you're going to sell it, you know, just to make it pretty. And then you're going to add another sheet that's going to say keyword research. And this is only if you want to take it to the next level. Then you go over to something like key search. And you put in slow cooker recipes. And you come up with some keywords that you can give your client or potential client that aren't too high of a score over here. This is the competition. So we've got some green here. So what I would do is either highlight and export and just pull them in or manually type them in or copy and paste, whatever you want to do. Uh, slow cooker, Olive Garden, chicken pasta, 2,929 score. That's, that's beautiful. Braising steak, slow cooker, 4,430 competition. Olive Garden, chicken crock pot. Okay, so if you want, you can create a whole other Google sheet or you can keep it in a tab. So let's say, let's just select some of these, okay? Make sure you only select ones that make sense um, and then have decent volume. Look at this, slow cooker lamb shoulder, 33,000. Oh my goodness. If I had a slow cooker website, I'm telling you what I'd be making this weekend. Healthy slow cooker recipes for weight loss, Jamaican oxtail. I think that's probably more popular. I've heard a lot about Jamaican oxtail. I don't know if that's that low. Um, just keep going. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> and just keep going until you feel comfortable. Like, you know, Weight Watchers slow cooker recipes. Um, all kinds of ideas. Export, CSV, and then CSV checked keywords. That's all you want. You don't want all of the keywords. And then you go over here, file, import, upload, drag and drop. All of this is while your keyword tool over here is still running, by the way. You're going to replace the current sheet. And if you want to include the CPC and PPC, you can keep it there. I don't. I stretch this so they can see the entire keywords. You want to make it pretty if you're selling it. 
Uh, and then you've got your competition score, you've got your volume, and then you can go back to key search and do slow cooker chicken, for example. Pull up, you want to change the score so you can do lowest. Olive Garden Chicken pot, Crock Pot, I think we already had that one, but we're just going to select, 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 because if it's got over 500 in the volume and it's under 40, um, I would send them over. I, I would include them because you don't know, like your client might have a DA of 50. You don't know. So they could totally tackle these 37s. Um, don't think that, well, and I'm going to include some lower ones too, just for the purpose of this video, but don't think that you have to make these really super low competition. If someone's hiring you or buying this from you, then maybe they have a higher blog, higher DA blog. Okay. And then we're going to duplicate and I'm going to change this to slow cooker chicken. I'm going to go to file, import, upload, drag and drop. I'm going to replace the current sheet, delete the CPC and PPC. And then if you want, you can pull this over to here. If you're wanting it like all on one little sheet here, you can then delete that. I don't know if I want to delete that. Did I click the right one? Yeah, okay. Delete. And then you can even sort it. Like if you want to sort to make it like the lowest competition or the highest volume words, like however you want to search it or just alphabetical, like however you're wanting to do it, it, it will work. Okay. There, there's not a, there's not a good way or bad way to do this. This is your project that you're selling. This is your item. Uh, so you do it however you want to. This is the third time we're repeating the process. One, two. And now I do not go above 40 unless I know that the person I'm going to sell to does have like a 50, then I would pull in all of these. But don't be afraid to go after them. Like even if you have a brand new blog and this is a 40, 45, 47, you can still create the best posts out there and start building up your authority. Um, I'm not going to add these to the thing right now, but that's how you would do it for a third time. And the very first, these are just ideas. We're going to stop the job and then we're going to select all and copy and then paste. Now, the most tedious part about this is reading through all of these to make sure it doesn't say something offensive or really stupid. The, other, the ideas that maybe aren't the greatest, you could still leave in there, but you want to make sure that you're not sharing anything that has like curse words or slurs or anything. I've never had that happen, but I'm kind of paranoid. So I, I would read through all of this. Um, there's probably a program that can read it out loud to you if you want to have it in one window and be doing other things. Um, I'm hoping that you guys can see my screen because the screen I'm sharing looks very small, but it's zoomed in. So hopefully, let's zoom in some more. So this shows you there's literally thousands. How many came out? 2,289. And even after you go through them, it's going to be more than 2,000. Uh, and then your keyword research, again, you can do these by, if you want to do them by volume, alphabetical, uh, score, however you want to do it, it's fine. Um, I just want you guys to realize that it's your product. You don't have to follow my method. This is just an idea to get you started. And then if you want to take it one step further, this is good. This is a good package. You can sell it. Okay. If you want to take it one more step further, that's when you're going to go through this list. And if any of these stand out to you, put it into key search and give it some more, some more info. So that's when you could create a, uh, I almost said sheet, a Google doc with like some sort of outline. Um, keyword, what? Slow cooker keyword outlines. Okay. Um, and maybe do five of them. 
So slow cooker lamb was our keyword that I that I grabbed, right? Slow cooker lamb. Okay. And then we have over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. So what we do here is we would grab these, all of the green. I would grab. Yeah. I would grab all of the green and I would add it to a tab here that says lamb, slow cooker lamb, like put the actual keyword in there. I know some of you guys want like a visual here. So rename slow cooker lamb. Okay. And then you take all of the keywords, all of them. Uh, read these as you go through. I'm not reading them, but read them as you go through. So you're not grabbing anything dumb. You don't want this to look automated. Even though most of it's automated, the last thing you want your client to do is, and that just has 10. We're not going to do that. Um, even though, just so you know, 10 search volume could mean way more, but those were just not ones I would include. Um, but the last thing you want is for your client to open this and be like, oh, hell, I could have done that on key search, or I could have done this or that. It needs to seem way fancier than that. It needs to be something that they wouldn't have necessarily thought of. So we export CS books, export CSV checked keywords. Go over here, slow cooker lamb, file, import, upload, drag and drop. And then we're going to replace the current sheet. Do not replace the spreadsheet. It will ruin everything. Get rid of these guys, delete, row above. And then if you want to get rid of some of the super low ones, some people are weird about those, then you would just delete them. So slow cooker lamb. And then again, these are just levels that I'm adding. Okay, guys, this is not like you have to do it to make it a good product, but slow cooker lamb. Um, how about we go to Google and put in slow cooker lamb. And then we look, where are the questions? Can you put raw lamb in a slow cooker? One way to do this even faster is to use a tool like outranking.io where you can go in and grab the outline from SERPs and get the people also ask questions from Google. So if I go to outranking, and this is just going to be very brief because I just want to show you kind of that you can do it. All right, so whenever you go to questions, then you can put in slow cooker lamb. Uh-oh, I'm in the wrong account. <laughs> of course, while I'm live, I would log into the wrong account. I had one that I signed up with um, as a free trial. And then whenever I bought the LTD, I had to use a different email. So questions slow cooker lamb, submit. Now it's going to collect the SERP data that you can use. In the meantime, should I brown lamb before slow cooking? Should I brown lamb before slow cooking? Add in all the questions that you can because those are questions that are going to help them formulate their outline and then they're going to fill it in. Uh, so this is where you're going to do the people also ask. You can tell them, hey, we've got lots of keywords in here for slow cooker ideas, because what your client should be doing is if they're going after slow cooker lamb, they should be creating a bunch of slow cooker lamb recipes, right? So so we want to do, we want to help them on their journey of what they're doing. And of course, outranking is taking forever. But whenever it uh, loads, you're going to see a bunch of questions and you can just copy those over. I'm not going to wait for them to load. Um, so I'm going to close that. And then what you would do next is just wrap it up into a nice, neat little bundle. So your Google Doc, you can turn into a PDF if you would like. Uh, you can offer the Google Doc and the PDF because the PDF could be pretty with a little intro. Thanks so much for trusting me with your business. Thanks for shopping with me. If you need anything else, this is how you contact me. Um, and then links. Here are your key, here's your keyword spreadsheet. 
Here is your uh, Google Doc for each of your outlines because it just depends on what you're selling. If you're selling, uh, you know, this keyword bundle and it includes five outlines, then you're going to have five of the Google Docs or you're going to have one Google Doc with five outlines, however you decide to do it. But the last step is just to make it pretty. And you don't have to like go crazy to make it pretty. You could just turn it into a PDF or add an image from Canva, put your little logo on it, whatever you want to do. But that's a very easy way if you need to make money. It's a very easy way to use free and cheap tools because keywords hitter is free. And then key search is less than 20 bucks a month. You make your money back as soon as you sell one. I know that you guys are going to ask me how much money you should be asking for these or how much you should be charging for them. And I will not answer that question in this video because I would have to go into all the layers of what you're offering. Think about how much time it takes. Do a test run, okay? Take a keyword and do a test run. See how much time it takes you and then figure that out, divide it, multiply it, whatever you need to do to get your hourly rate. If you feel like, oh, I'm selling this keyword bundle and it's $75 and nobody's gonna buy it or if nobody does buy it, okay, instead of lowering your price, how can you add value? What can you do to add value, stack value on top of value until you get it to that $75 mark or 150, whatever you're doing it for? Because you could go so in depth with this that you could do an entire niche site outline. Use the keyword tool, the one that gives you all the ideas and then dive in deep and kind of like segment. And you've got, okay, these are my five sections for this website. And here are all the keywords and here's all the competition. And here are the other sites that are ranking and all of that stuff. And then maybe you have a $150 package and someone's going to use it to start their niche site. There's all kinds of ideas. So cannot answer the pricing question for you because there's too many layers. But if you're struggling with pricing, charge more than you think you should. And then if it's not selling, add value stacks, add value on top of it. Instead of adding more of your time, try to think of something that you can maybe deliver to everyone, like um, a video showing how to use these, or even a video showing how to use the outlines, how to use an AI tool, like show them how you can, they can use Jarvis or outranking. They plug your outline in and then they use Jarvis or outranking to finish the post. And then you can include affiliate link for Jarvis or outranking, whatever your AI tool of choice is something that helps make their life easier. Uh, but go as in-depth with this as you want to. You could create an entire site where you're talking about, you know, building sites and stuff, and then you're selling these packages. And it didn't cost you, but what, 20 bucks a month or less for key search and a little bit of your time. Utilize tools that are free and cheap. And every time you discover a tool that's free, think about it and be like, how the heck can this make me money? And this is just one way that keyword keywords hitter tool can make you money. There are many others and I might cover those in the group. If you're not in my group yet, head on over um, to it's, it's on Facebook. It's called passive income pathways. Let me see if I can, if I have a short link for it. Yeah. It's sadiesmiley.com forward slash pips P I P S. It's a free group. I share lots of info and teach you how to make passive income online. Uh, and if anyone likes this tool, I'll figure out other ways that you guys can make money with it and I'll share it. Thank you guys. And if you have any comments, leave them below and I'll answer them as soon as I can.